1969 Ford Bronco truck. It's a, it's a beautiful car, uh, and I bought it from Danny Bonaducci. This is absolutely <laughs> true. Absolutely true. This is Danny. He, uh, Danny had this when he was in a, a certain point in his life. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I got the car. And um, he, didn't have a, he, did, he didn't have a cup holder when I, when I bought it. Just a kind of wet bar and something for the syringes. <laughs> it was, it was a, and, and, and the hookers just went in the back. <laughs> it was all set up. Now listen, I, I like to drink coffee in the car, right? Everybody likes to drink coffee in the car, it's nice to do it. But I'm having more problems with it because coffee is a diuretic. It makes you want, it makes you want to go to the bathroom. And, and the traffic's getting worse. You know, I, I have a friend, John Mendoza, who describes that the definition of, of desperation is a brand muffin, a cup of coffee and a traffic jam. And it, and it, you know what I'm saying? It gets that way. It does. It, soon. We're going to need bathrooms and cars if the traffic's getting worse. We're going to need bathrooms. Right beside the cup holder, you got a little toilet paper holder. There. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, maybe a, a European cars get a little bidet, actually. Right? That'd be nice. I, uh, the way... No, no, think, because that actually might make sense, because you could fuel the car, it'd be environmentally sound. You, you could fuel the car from the bathroom. No, you could, you could, because cars can run on methane gas, which is a product found in, in human waste. With a hose, a little methane technology, you could get from here to Albuquerque. You could, you could. Depending. Hey, hey, saving the planet isn't pretty. You know, depending on what you had for lunch, you could be here to Albuquerque. <laughs> and, and in Albuquerque, you could get some Tex-Mex. <laughs> you could blast your way through to Canada. You could go around the world. Be fantastic. <laughs> oh, so true. But true. True. Listen, growing up in Scotland, there were not many cars. I'm not originally from Los Angeles. I, I, and I grew up in Scotland. And we didn't have cars. We had, you know, we had to go to market on horses. Uh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't have cars at all. And that's not true. But I, no, we had cars. Of course we had cars. Come on. But actually, the American cars is what, was one of the reasons why I fell in love with this country. was seeing pictures of American cars, though, when I was a kid. They had these big fins on them, which I thought was amazing. They, 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 I thought, fins on their cars. Their cars can go underwater. <laughs> And I tried it a couple of times. They can't. They can't go underwater. Well, they can, but they don't come back. I... <laughs> I... Now, here's the, I did not take my driving test until I was 27 years old. Do you know that? 27. Yeah, no, absolutely true. I, I, um... Well, you know, I lived in Glasgow, where you don't need a car in Glasgow, because everyone's right there, you know, and then... And then I lived in London, and having a car is a nuisance in London. You don't need a car in London. You don't want a car in London. Um, so I didn't, I didn't actually sit the test until I was 27 in Britain. And I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I, I was drunk. <laughs> and I passed. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, it's, it's true. I was, I was at a party. It was 4 a.m. Um, God, that's been back a bit. I, like, I get up at 4 a.m. now and worry about my hip. But... <laughs> But I was at a party, it was about 4 a.m. <laughs> and, uh, and I realised I've got my test in six hours. So, you know, I had a cup of coffee, did a few sit-ups, and staggered to the DMV building. And I passed. And I think the guy who gave me the test was a little drunk too. I think he was a little too. <laughs> but a month later, I got a two-year suspension for drunk driving, um, which I deserved. Because I was drunk. And uh, I'm not a good driver drunk, but I'm friendly. You know, I'm friendly when I'm... <laughs> ah, on you go, pass up, yeah. Right. Or oh, you go that way, whatever you want. But I, did, I passed the test drunk, which technically, legally means I, I am licensed to drive drunk in Britain. <laughs> Actually, I've got to say, i got to say, I, I don't condone this. Drink driving is a horrible thing. I do not condone it. It's awful. I actually, I'm grateful that I didn't kill myself or anyone else when I did it. I, it's a terrible thing. I'm not kidding. Don't do it. Stay at home. Drive safely. <laughs> I did get, a, I did get a, a ticket when I came to America, though. I got a non-drinking-related violation in the great state of Arizona. 
Mm, that's a lovely place. I was caught driving 85 miles per hour in a 70 zone. Um, it was in the middle of the desert, 70 miles an hour in the desert. I mean, that's like walking. <laughs> you know, I, I, and he caught me 85 miles an hour in a 70. If he got me five minutes early, he'd have got me at 120. <laughs> That, w that wasn't in the 1969 Ford Bronco truck. But I, but I found the best way to get out of a ticket is to cry. It works better for men than for women, but it still works. I, and I, I learned to drive on the, uh, on the other side of the road. I, you know, we drive on the... What are we driving? We drive on the left-hand side. I learned to drive on the right-hand side. But I like... I don't want to badmouth the old country, but I like driving in, in this. This is the best way to do it. Much easier to get a shot off. You know, and, and get through the drive through It's L.A. You know, got to get home. It's like honking the horn. I, I, I actually don't honk the horn. I'm not very horny. I, uh, I think I just lied to you. No, I don't like all this honking the horn, because you never know, it's, it means different things in different places. In New York, honking the horn is just like, hi, how you doing? Nice hat. <laughs> all the time. In, in the farm country and out there in the Midwest, you just honk the horn, hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. In LA, it means, look out, I'm Lindsay Lohan. I'm Lindsay Lohan. Look out.